Well, when Vicki White disappeared with maximum security inmate Casey White, authorities feared that the violent felon had taken her hostage. But there was an intriguing detail that came along with that escape. It was also Vicki's last morning as a corrections officer. Well, investigators dug deeper. And as they learned more, they began to question Vicki's role in Casey's escape, which led to that 11-day multi-state manhunt. On tonight's All New 2020, co-anchor Deborah Roberts unpacks the case and the evidence, including surveillance video that helped reveal the true nature of the relationship between the two missing persons. With concerns for Vicki's safety running high, investigators decide to refocus on the precise moment of the escape. We're really trying to figure out where do our resources need to be focused in. So on the night of the escape, we would just kept looking at all the jail footage of Vicki Lee and Casey out of the jail. For investigators, footage from this surveillance camera became a key piece of evidence. It shows the very moment that Vicki escorts Casey White out of this jail unaccompanied. And the footage raises some troubling questions. Let's take a look at them leaving. Now, what, what do you notice here? Just her nonchalantness. Yeah, she looks very casual. Just holding the door like you would hold it for a friend. She's not even really watching him. No, no, completely turns her back to this individual. But it really made us wonder what was going on. It was just very, you know, her, what was her relationship with this guy? When investigators examine the footage, two things really stand out. First, she is escorting the inmate on her own which alone is a complete violation of jail policy. But also, she is walking in front of Casey with no clear view of him, which is something no corrections officer is supposed to do. Ah, oh, the plot thickens. Deborah Roberts here now to preview tonight's show in a lot more detail. So, Deb, what did you learn from Vicki White's friends and coworkers about, you know, who she was up to that moment where she vanished with this inmate? Kira, I have to tell you, this was pretty mind-blowing. I think so many of us thought we knew what happened in this case. You know, it, it was a very unfortunate case of a, a correction officer taking off with this guy. How could this happen? Well, tonight we learned more about her. And one of the first key pieces of information we learned was that there were hours that had gone by before anybody really reported the two of them missing. Vicki signs Casey out of the prison in the morning around 9-ish. It's around 3 o'clock before they really get wind of the fact that something is wrong. That's how much this woman was trusted. Nobody would have ever, ever given any thought to the idea that she might have broken this man out of prison. You're going to hear for the very first time some of her friends, Casey, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, who still cannot um, talk about this without crying, without thinking about the fact that their friend, um, you know, could have done something like this. A, a state court judge who really was, you know, just absolutely blown away by the fact that Vicki, on her very last day of work, who apparently they discover later, had been planning this uh, escape. You're going to hear tonight about what investigators discovered. The U.S. Marshals, once they began to look into this case, assuming that she was abducted. All of those moments that just sort of revealed, wow, those moments to them, um, that this had really been so much more and so much deeper than they thought. It was a betrayal in some ways. They had a, a cache of weapons with them. Uh, she had, a she had lots of money. She had sold her home. Uh, investigators were absolutely flummoxed by this, and there's still even many of her friends today still grappling with this. Kira. So will we will we learn how she apparently fell in love with him? Or you will hear how this all you will hear all those details, Kira. Uh, Casey White wrote letters to Vicky. You're going to hear about those letters when you see those letters for the very first time. You're going to also hear from her friends about what her life was like and how this might have happened. And for the first time, you're going to hear from an inmate who shared a cell with Casey uh, White, who happens to have the same last name as Vicky, no relation, but who shared an, a, a cell with her, uh, her and can talk about the relationship and how it started to evolve. How is it that officials missed this? How is it that the jail wouldn't have caught these moments of, of, of uh, you know, of, of, of breaching really the protocol? You'll hear from all of those folks tonight that just sort of peels away at the onion on this story and it's so much deeper than you thought. It's, it's pretty riveting stuff, if I do say so myself.
Uh, well, of course, which leads me to congratulations are in order here uh, as you are newly named uh, co-anchor of 2020. Um, Thank you. You've covered a lot of true crime cases, of course, and investigations for a long time. I'm just curious, you know, did anything stand out to you about this one? And, and did you learn anything from your interviews uh, with uh, the officials who, who worked this case? I mean, I would love to get inside Vicky's yeah. head. I want to know. And that's know what, what we do, Kara. You're absolutely right. We sort of got inside our head tonight, and that's one of the things I really do like about what we're doing with this program. Over the course of two hours, we're not just giving you a crime program. We're not just doing true crime. We're actually taking you inside the lives of these individuals, whether they be victims or whether they be even perpetrators. But tonight, you're going to find out why some of her friends still see Vicki as a victim here. How is it that she could have done something like this that felt like such a betrayal? Yes, you will actually get a chance to know know who this woman was and what it was that sort of motivated her in life and how her friends could have missed this. One of them felt that she failed her. How is it that we couldn't have known that she was either so lonely or so maybe, um, you know, desperate that she might have done this kind of thing? So you get to know more about who this woman is and then sort of make a decision about how you think this could have happened. Well, I'm sucked in. 2020 anchor Good. Deborah Roberts. <laughs> Thank you so much. So glad to have you on this afternoon. Good talking to you, Kira. Take care. All right. And of course, you can catch, uh, catch, catch us if you can. The all new 2020 tonight on ABC and then streaming on Hulu tomorrow. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.